All right, I'm gonna to attempt to show you how this works on my arm. I am in my little pop-up tent here to protect the spray in my mostly white bathroom, so you'll be able to hear how loud it is and see kind of how it applies on my arm. I did it. This is just excite. So excited. It's been about 10 minutes since I finished my spray tan. I'm already done cleaning up completely. I have some kind of final takeaways that I'm happy to share with you. But first of all, it's looking pretty good. As recommended, I started with the feet and legs. And that was probably good because it's winter where I am right now and I'm not gonna be showing these off. Um, it's a little bit streaky just because I was getting a feel for this, the angle of this versus how it actually sprayed out. I somehow had it backwards in my head a little bit. So I've got a bit of streakiness there. I'm not too worried about it. I'll do a little bit of exfoliation in the shower later on. But by the time I got to my torso and my arms, I was feeling pretty good. And it's really like a nice, even for the most part, uh, tan. But overall, I am psyched about this. This was so fast and so easy. I think it took me maybe 10 minutes to do the full spray, maybe 15. Or, oh, I did not get my upper back. That was the one spot that I just like didn't want to attempt. I was sure I would get like big blotches on there. So next time I'll just have my partner at the ready to help me with those spots that I can't get and I'm not worried at all about it. A couple takeaways that I wanted to share with you or observations really is that this plug, um, I don't love, I mean, the angle of it is nice, except for when you want to set this down on a table because the hard part here goes below the table. So it's easy if you have like a counter ledge to set it on, but if you're in a pop-up tent um, to reduce the overspray or something, and you're just setting it on the ground, it is hard to balance this upright and it makes it more susceptible to wobbling and falling over. So don't love that about it. It does, you can get it to balance. You just have to be extra careful and then you definitely don't want to bump it. <laughs> Cleanup was a cinch. Oh, look, I did get a little staining on my fingers there. I'm not sure how to avoid that. I'm gonna look into that a little more. Probably like gloves would make sense. I did put some moisturizer on my elbows, knees, heels, feet, that sort of thing. Um, that was a recommendation in the instructions. Do read the B-Tan instructions. As far as the actual tanning product goes, this is a great color. I don't feel like I look like a pumpkin. I feel like this looks like a natural tan, which for me, this is actually unnatural because I usually just turn red and then, and then it peels off and I go back to white. This feels good. I'm really impressed with this. I'm super excited to keep using the B-Tan Spray Tan AF. And if you have any thought about getting one of these for yourself, I say go for it.